Hello everyone and welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time we met up with Sushi, a new party member who allows us to ride in the water. And I'm sure this will have plenty of use later down the line. First off, if we go here, no do I- Okay, you press down once you're in the water to do that, that's what it is. And you have to go to the edge of the platform there. It's been annoying to go to the edge every time. But free star piece, free letter to Rusty in Toad Town. I don't remember who that is, but I'm sure we can find out relatively quickly. And while we're over here... Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? It's the perfect place for napping. Perfect temperatures. I'm a bulb. My job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? I want you to take this seed. Or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry though, it'll be ready with any time now. Putting in such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seed later. I'm pretty generous, so I'll be giving I'll be here giving stuff to people. Well, let's get on with our mission and come back and check on you, and hopefully no one grabs the seed before we do. I think yeah, the only way out of the water is over here. Kinda wish it was a bit of a faster way, but it's fine. Back here, I remember you're an enemy, so I'm not going to fight you right now. I can hear something sleeping. Oh, I want to get that block. Oh, that Yoshi's sleeping. Right, I don't... I missed the B button. Oh, well, have I battled you? Nope. Sorry, Sushi, we're not checking you out right now. These are Spear Guys. This is a Spear Guy. Spear Guys are relatives of Shy Guys. They live in the jungle. Max HP 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. You get hurt if you attack with the hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them when the spear is pointing upward. Pay attention to the position of their spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they become ordinary shy guys. Right then, power jump. Let's see how much you do. Seven damage, right. They are just... Ah oh, man, it's a block. They are just shy guys, but thank you. But I believe now... We do 5 damage a hit with attack. This is because of some badges allowing me to do increased damage when I'm low health. And these are called danger strats. I don't really try using them, but I'm going to give them a shot. And we got Power Quake. A better version of the Quake badge we have. Does it take more? Uh, Quake Hammer is 1. Power Quake is 2. I'll go ahead and take it for now just because it's a lot of these enemies are having a lot more attack power than than before or not a lot more attack power a lot more health than before so it might be useful just to have uh have some more damage on a quake hammer because that does not scale with the hammer we're using Right, and I need to find the way through over here now. Probably underwater, right? Yep, there is a pathway here. Oh, oh, and an upgrade block for sushi. Perfect. You can also find some coins underwater. Hey, give me that. There we go. Yeah, you can also find some coins underwater if you know where to look. We do know of a Yoshi kid over there. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and, oh, heart plants. You just kind of give infinite healing, huh? I mean, I might as well. Uh, I don't actually know where that is coming from. It is getting a bit annoying, though. Push, push inside here. You look like an enemy. Yep, knew it. But it does get you out of the way. Power Quake is a bit more expensive than Quake Hammer. But... It does a lot more damage. I don't actually want Sushi yet. I want Cooper for this. Because we can finish these guys off with a power shell. Perfect damage. That damage would increase with the danger strats I mentioned earlier. But I can't really apply them because I'm kind of full health. I, I don't need the Tasty Tonic game, thank you though. Oh, <laughs> I was going to go check out the tree. I didn't think you'd be there. Oh, that was so scary. 
You're playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me here! Tushu was right. We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. One down, six to go. And there's nothing in there. What about here? No, there can be a lot of stuff in the bushes. Also, we can jump- we can easily jump over these bushes. Why would we have to wait? Oh, hold on. Isn't this... No. Go back. Isn't- no, I- Game, let me- Can I move bushes around here? No. Oh, that's how you do it. This is, a uh, Back to the whale. Bit of a fast travel point. I don't think you can go here beforehand, though. I think something's blocking you off. Not sure what it is, though. Also, it lets you fight those enemies again if you ever need to, for some reason. Anyway, Sushi, you're back up. We do know where one is. Let's go get him first. Also, I know Sushi's kind of squashed down when we're on her like that. Oh, uh... I was testing out one of Sushi's abilities. Turns out it counts as a jump attack, but, uh... Well, we're not getting it here. Especially if I block like that. Okay, doesn't matter if I block. I'm getting a situation where I'm actually starting to run out of FP. And it's starting to scare me a little bit. But we have an upgrade block as soon as I can actually hit it. Only one we can upgrade right now is Sushi. Which is perfect, because I really want to show her off sometime soon. Upgrade the super rank. I don't remember what that does. I'll find out soon enough. Oh, really soon, actually. There are still reasons I want to wait a little bit before I so show off Sushi's abilities. Partially just because I don't have much FP right now. Oh, I did not know that was there. That was just pure coincidence. No, no, I don't want the tasty tonic. I know you're another enemy. Uh, do I fight you now? Yes. I actually started to get low on health. Well, I was until I got those hearts. But the, most of these fights aren't good to show off Sushi as a character yet. There is going to be some stuff later on, though. Please don't be a trap. You are! I knew I didn't have trust to do! You could be used to activate danger strats, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Things like these, or any trap in general, always drain 1 HP from Mario. And because I need to be at 5 HP to use danger strats, I think that you get where it's going with that, where I'm going with this. Right, one of these bushes is going to move out of the way. Or two of them. I do not feel comfortable fighting enemies, but at the same time, what could go wrong? Well then. I was about to say I'm not in the best place. Uh, I might, I'm going to try do avoiding these things for now. Get rid of the Thunder Rage real quick. I need the FP. But, because you are an enemy as well, I would like to show off a bit more danger strats. We are in peril, but I should hopefully be able to one-shot them with this. Because there is a version of danger strats for peril as well that increases damage further. And that does 9 damage. You're probably never going to need more than that for any normal enemies. I'm going to probably want to be at this health for now. We can go right or to the left. Let's go left for now. Is there anything... There is an exit there. Let's check out up here first, then. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight that shy guy, aren't I? Yep. You, I still not figured out yet. That is the save point thing. Oh, you spin! Oh, that makes sense. Uh, you hit the left here to spin. Oh, we actually have a new enemy! Uh, yeah, we should have enough FP to deal with this. I was thinking Zap Tap wouldn't be useful anymore. No, I might need to put that back on. This is a jungle fuzzy. Jungle fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies, but live in the jungle, so that's their name. Max be 7 attack power, 2 defense power, 0. They cling to you, suck out your HP, and add it to their own. What a sleazy move. They won't stop clinging to you unless you tear them off with the action command. They also occasionally divide, so let's be them before they get the chance. Right. 
Do I have a Volt Shroom? No. Power Quake it is! We are getting quite a bit of uh, uh, star points from this, but I am completely out of FP, which is pretty concerning. Uh, correction, I have one FP, which is still pretty concerning. Let's hope something in this warp pipe can help. Aha! Uh, I need Watt. That is not Watt, that is Sushi. Luckily, there does not seem to be any enemies in this cave, but I do want to try blowing this up with bomb, but... Does not look like it worked. Yep, rock is indestructible. It looked like it might have been able to explode. There was this flower that spun around and I thought it was way cool, so I got on. And then I spun around and around and then I was up in the air and flying and then I ended up here. I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going to go straight home. Another sh uh, one of those kids saved? Having said that, I might want to consider using a healing item or two. Uh, yeah, we'll use a Koopa Tea. Seeing as FP is probably one of my most important stats right now, as I can just use Quake Hammer to one-shot everything. With that, uh, there was a path to the left, I believe. Oh, I'm not fighting you guys again. I already did it once. I'm fighting you, though. Uh, okay, so I was gonna say this after the battle, but I got uh, attack power increase. I changed up my bad setup a little bit. That's only one more damage. Uh, this is mostly just because I actually lost this fight, and I think I'm going to again. So it doesn't matter. Nope! <laughs> I get lucky! So I have Zap Tap now and a couple other badges. This mostly is just- oh, it wasn't one more damage, I do five, right? This was because I lost this, and if you need to go and uh, gather hope of health if you need to back at the uh, Yoshi Village, then go ahead. This is a fairly difficult area. But areas like this, I am now completely invincible because, or fights like this, because you can't really hurt me. Also, while we're here, Sushi's attack. The basic one is basically just a hammer, but a jump attack. She also has Water Block, which I'll show you in a second. I'm not going to use it right now, maybe later. Yeah, Water Block here. And all Water Block is, is basically just Watt's uh, attack boost, but with defense instead. It is a pretty good ability. I just don't really need to use it when I kind of uh, have infinite... Well, can't take any damage from these guys. Having said that, they can also replicate infinitely, and I am choosing to fight more for the sake of EXP. This might take a bit of... depending on how much he's got... nope, they're done. <laughs> they don't, who needs Zap Tap anyway? I can just get lucky. Eight more star points, and we're getting decently close to a level up. I am grabbing health because I kind of need... Uh, is this a hammer? Yep. Sushi, no! Ah, Sushi's fine. So, you know, Sushi's the thing that split that log in half in the first place. It was that mohawk of hers. A defense increase. You know, that actually probably was the uh, best thing that I could have done. Or happened to me. Because, yeah, now I don't take damage. And you take damage. I and then I miss my jump attack. Because despite the fact that I'm playing this for quite a while now, I have not <laughs> improved as much as I would have hoped. Oh, you can't hurt me though, so I'm going to beat you up. I stand corrected. So, while I am here, I did want to show off a couple of my abilities. I go went ahead and full healed with a refresh. And I want to use focus, and if you notice here, in a sec, 
That restored quite a bit. That is the badge Deep Focus. It makes my uh, star point power points or whatever it's called recharge quite a lot faster when you use Focus. I also have Group Focus, something that lets my teammates focus. And all of them have a separate prayer animation. This could be especially good in a fight like this where I just physically cannot get hit and these guys are duplicating so much there practically is always one at full health. It's ridiculous. Anyway, now with if you choose me, I'm going to wish I did not get an attack increase here and I'm going to finish off these fuzzies. Uh, okay, I was wondering how far I could take this. But you increase my defense. Like, you can't do anything anyway, but that is like 20 extra star points. And yeah. I'm just gonna... Boop. 22 star points from one battle with a bunch of fuzzies. Okay, yeah, you can take that quite far. Oh, a Volt Shroom. If I didn't have Zap Tap on, I would take you. Unfortunately, I don't. But you can take that uh, strategy quite far. If you were to basically combine that with, say, Lullaby, you could possibly just do that loop infinitely and just infinitely stay at full health with Group Focus and Deep Focus. And there are more Deep Focuses later on. Uh, but now, eek, somebody help me! I'm so scared, I want to go home! Yeah, but what's in these bushes? Oh. Looks like I can't first strike these guys. Anyway, first up, Goombario. This badge is coming in very handy. Tell me about these... Oh, putrid plants. This is a putrid, putrid plant. Attack power... Uh, uh, HP 12, attack power 3, defense power 0. Putrid piranhas sometimes bite, but truly scary thing is that nasty poison the breath. Power their bad breath is too, but your HP will begin to fall if you get poisoned. You should try to recover as quickly as possible if you get poisoned. Right, I can finish this off with take them with Star Storm or lower their attack to basically nothing but poison. I can also put them to sleep. Nah, let's go for a Star Storm. It's more fun that way. Should be seven damage each, which is over half their health. Perfect. I can finish one off with Bow and the other with Mario. Plus, it's not like they're going to poison me this fight. Oh, I actually got both blocks off. Nice. Bo, you're up. Fish him off. I could also get my star points back if I wanted to. I'm not actually too worried about them. So, we'll just go for this for now. Only four star points. I, I kind of thought that was a mini-boss. Oh well. Huh? Are, are they all gone? I thought those things were going to eat me right up. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what I, you growing up told me to do from now on. I don't even want to. I don't even want to do bad things anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now. Bye. That's probably good. Right. With that, I believe there is only one more path we can take. You're a heal plant. Give me sushi back. Also give me that. There's a path up to the right, but let's go here first. Uh, nope, nothing in the bushes. Uh, I don't... Um, <laughs> wasn't sure what to do there for a second. Uh, morning. Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too? You're playing hide and seek and we got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The general's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. I've just realized I've completely lost track of how many of these guys I've, like, hunted down. Also, where did you go? This should create a f uh, fast w and easy way back to the village if I'm correct, though. Yeah, just back here. Hold on, have I ever experimented with this thing? Right, I remember now. Uh, not a scale, it's it's tumbles, that, or whatever they're called. I really don't remember what those things are called. Also, did I... 
They don't do anything, but they're fun. Oh, a fuzzy! Can not stop them from spawning nothing in, but they... Th or can stop them from spawning zero stuff in, but I was able to feed them before they spawned in most stuff. There is that island up there. I don't think I want to go there yet, though. Just because it looks like that's going to be an important area later, but not right now. Oh, wait. This is just where I... Did I get all of them? Uh, possibly. Let me go back and check then, because I don't remember how many I had, as I said a minute ago. Uh, thank you for finding my son. He's a bad boy for making everybody worry so very bad. What about the other boys, too? There's so many dangers in the jungle. Many creatures with evil hearts. Alright, just one more remains. Please find him right away. You seem to be an expert at finding lost children, Mario. We're counting on you. So we're missing just one. Gotcha. And I have no idea where it could be, so I'm gonna just go through everything once again. In my search, I did manage to get a level up here. I've been running a little on FP for a bit, let's get that. I know I can't infinitely recharge it, but it's gonna be best to get it, I think. So I've checked pretty much everywhere around here. The only place I can think to check is... Here? Draper, I made me visibly inside it. I wrecked all the raisin. Uh... You glow like that. I don't think there's anything I can do here, though. Yeah, not in that tree. Huh. I am actually lost. Oh, coin increase. Nice. Uh, not really... I guess it is kind of helpful. Yeah, you give me a lot of coins, too, because it's a late game. And luckily, none of them met despawned. Oh, hell, hold on. There's a doorway over here I missed somehow. I spent so long looking for that, I just missed it there. Wow. Right, log. Luckily, this one will just fall apart. We don't need Sushi to split it with her hair, like that first one. And I can hear the Yoshi. Yep. There you are. Uh-huh. You play hide and seek. I, I had to be up, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I already found all of them. I was running around, and then I got lost. You were right, Sushi. The jungle's really scary. Thanks for coming all the way out here to look for me. I'll be a good boy from, from now on and listen to you. Mario, will you be it for me? for hide and seek instead of me. I'm going home now. Uh, we found the seeker last. Nothing. Okay, there was something in that tree. Uh, I have no interest in fighting you. I'm already over leveled as is. Time to get back to Yoshi Village then. Uh, okay, I don't need to double my star points. They drop one each, and there are only two of them. And we're back! And I think that's it. Now that we've saved the kids, I actually am doing the episode here because I've been recording for an hour. That, because, mostly because I died several times. And that last Yoshi kid. But for now, I'm gonna end this episode off here. Next time, we talk to the Elder and find out if he will actually let us go to the volcano for once. Until then, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye!